Sometimes video files are wrapped up and hidden in DAT files, which you can't open unless you convert them into a playable format like MP4. Here is how to do it. Okay, so what's the deal with DAT files? These are basically those files that are holding data for programs and not really meant for us to mess with. But sometimes they're even hiding video or audio data that we want to access and then we're like, okay, now how do we do it? When an audio or video file is not playable with anything, our last hope is usually VLC, that is supposed to play everything, right? Technically, VLC should play DAT files since they can contain MPEG videos, but sometimes it just doesn't work out. So if VLC isn't cutting it, you'll need something with a bit more muscle, and our solution is the Wondershare Uni Converter. This multimedia toolbox has many awesome features, including the most powerful converter tool that we're also going to use. If you don't have the Uniconverter yet, grab it from videoconverter.wondershare.com, then open it up and follow these steps. Open the Uniconverter and click on the Converter tool right from the home interface. Import the DAT file or files you need to convert. Down here, as a universal output format, choose MP4. Then choose an output folder and click on Start All. Once the conversion process is finished, you can access your entrapped video files. Apart from the special cases we just looked at, most of the times DAT files contain text information. To open a DAT file and access these text data, we don't need to do any conversion processes. All you'll have to do is go into your default text editor like the notepad on Windows or the text edit on Mac, then click on your DAT file to open it. Then you can just save this as a normal text file so you can open it easier next time. That's it, not hard at all. So with the Uniconverter, you can convert anything as it supports over a thousand file formats. So it really needs to be a permanent tool on your computer. It's likewise available for Mac and Windows. Now that's it for this video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if I had helped you in any ways. And I'm going to thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.